Hey everyone, my name is Randy Lee and I'm an environmental engineer. So starting off this year, you've probably seen it all over the headlines, which is layoffs. It's mostly in the technology sector, but with inflation running rampant and a possible recession coming soon, you're probably worried, will you be next? The technology sector has been known to pay pretty well and they're pretty sturdy. Everyone knows that software engineers are like highly skilled professionals, but you're working for the environmental sector and you're working for a company that's not as well known like Google or Microsoft. So the question is, should you be worried? Should I be worried? Long story short, the answer is no, I'm not worried, and I'm gonna explain why. So in recent years, there has been an emphasis in environmental issues, and it's no secret that the world is facing some of the biggest environmental challenges ever. Climate change, pollution, waste management, and the depletion of natural resources are just a few of the many problems we face today. As a result, more and more people are seeking careers in the environmental field, not only to make a difference, but also because they believe it is a stable and a secure industry. So in this video, I'm going to explain why environmental jobs are pretty stable, practically immune to layoffs, and will be in high demand in the future. So the first reason is that there is growing demand for environmental solutions. With the growing awareness of environmental problems, the demand for solutions and the sustainable practices are increasing. Companies and governments are investing heavily in research and development, renewable energy, and other green initiatives. So this led to the creation of new jobs in fields such as you know, renewable energy, green technology, and environmental consulting. In addition, there's a growing demand for environmental scientists, engineers, and technicians who can help implement these types of solutions. The next reason has to do with government regulations and incentives. One of the key reasons why environmental jobs are so stable is because that they are often tied to regulations and laws that protect the environment. These regulations are often put in place to address pressing environmental issues such as climate change and pollution, which means that there will always be a need for professionals to implement and enforce them. Governments around the world are introducing regulations and incentives to encourage companies to adopt sustainable practices and reduce their carbon footprint. So for example, the Paris Agreement a long time ago aimed to limit global warming by well below 2 degrees Celsius, and governments are implementing policies to meet these goals. This has led to some growth in jobs related to energy efficiency, renewable energy, and environmental compliance. Companies all around the world are investing in clean technology such as electric vehicles, which are creating new jobs in areas such as engineering, research, and production. The third reason has to do with long-term career opportunities. With the increasing emphasis on sustainability, more organizations are investing in research and development, renewable energy, and other green initiatives. This creates a constant need for experts in the field who can continue to develop new solutions and technologies. And as a result, environmental jobs are expected to be in demand for the foreseeable future. Additionally, environmental jobs require a specific set of skills and knowledge, which means that those who are trained and experienced in these areas will be in high demand. So you can expect that environmental professionals can demand like higher salaries and probably have better job security than in most other fields. The fourth reason has to do with recycling and waste management. Waste management and recycling are becoming increasingly important as the world generates more and more waste. Because of that, governments and companies are investing in new technologies to reduce their waste and to increase recycling, which in turn again means more creation of new jobs relating to fields such as waste management, recycling, and environmental consulting. These jobs are super stable and secure because they are the essence for the proper functioning of society, mostly because everyone generates trash. And lastly, the fifth reason has to do with public awareness and education. The last reason why environmental jobs are so stable is because they are becoming increasingly important as society becomes more aware of the impacts of human activity and the environment. As more and more people begin to realize the need to take action to protect the planet, the demand for environmental professionals is likely to grow. Some examples of environmental jobs include environmental scientists and specialists. They study the effects of the environment and the effects they have on human activity. Conservation of scientists and foresters. They're the ones who manage and protect the natural resources such as parks and forests. Environmental engineers such as myself. They design and develop solutions to environmental problems. Energy engineers. They're the ones who work and develop renewable energy sources and reducing energy consumption. And lastly, sustainable coordinators, which help organizations and businesses try to work on like, sustainability. So in the end, if you work in the environmental sector, you don't really have much to worry about. You know, when I first saw the headlines, even I too was worried about it. Like, I'm just thinking, am I next? Am I gonna get laid off next month? But as I thought more and more about it, and I realized like the impact that we have on society, even though the job market isn't really in high demand today, right now, once you're in this field, you are most likely not going to get laid off. 
So to wrap up this video, in conclusion, environmental jobs are pretty stable. Uh, we're practically immune to layoffs and I do foresee it being in high demand in the future. With growing awareness of environmental problems and the need for sustainable solutions, the demand for experts in this field will only continue to grow. Governments and organizations are investing in research and development, renewable energy and green initiatives, which in turn are creating new job opportunities in areas like renewable energy, green technology, and environmental compliance. So whether you're interested in science or engineering or education in general, there will be many job opportunities in the environmental field and they're only expected to keep on growing. And so that's all I have for the video. Hope you liked it. Don't get scared. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.